Welcome to CD Mosbaugh uh, online video series. Today we're showing a video on converting a panel view legacy file into uh, Factory Talk View ME for a panel view plus. So the first thing we want to do is come down and open up uh, Factory Talk View Studio. Normally be under Rockwell Software, Factory Talk View, Factory Talk View Studio. Click on Machine Edition. And we're going to go to New, give it a name. So we're going to just call this uh, Panel View Import. Uh, choose which um, newer uh, Panel View Plus you would like to run this on. We'll just click that one and click Import. Get, you'll definitely get that error. The, now, here's all the type of files you can import. Uh, you can do a panel builder 1400e. Uh, we actually we're going to be using a panel view terminal file, so this is a file that was pulled right off of the panel view. You can also use the panel builder application. So let's click over there, and we're going to use this. We'll leave all of this at default. So this file will take probably a few minutes. It's going to open up and then it's going to convert the tags and the screens and any other parameter files or anything that's in there. So this will take a few minutes and it'll turn away. So we'll come back to you uh, as soon as it's ready. Okay, so we're, the program is done converting. Um, so what we can do is go in and just kind of take a look at what we have. Uh, first thing it does is the, the tags are all created from the old file. Um, and they are tied to the proper address. Uh, in this case, would be a slick processor uh, with this shortcut called Franklin. So we have to remember that here in a few minutes. But so we know that they all came in, so we're good there. Um, we can come down to our displays and just take a look and see that um, our tags did come in properly. Um, and then see if we can open up one of these commons and see that, yes, yeah, so this is going to display this value in, um, uh, from that tag. So we know that everything came in, it looks good. Um, next thing we have to do is come down and configure our communications. So that's under this factory talk links. It used to be called factory um, or RS links enterprise. Uh, it just recently has been changed to factory talk links in version 9 or 10. I can't remember of which studio, but so we're going to expand that and double click on communication setup. And we're going to create a new uh, configuration. So we, this is where we had to remember what that shortcut was called. Um, so we know it was called Franklin. So we're going to call this Franklin. And here we would point to the PLC, the, where the controller is, wherever that slick controller is, this is where we would sit it. Um, from here, we would remember to click cop from copy from design to runtime, or else when you download to the control or to the panel view, it's not going to work. Uh, so, the software gives you the option to have a design path from your computer to the PLC and a runtime path that will exist out in the field. Um, most of the time, this is the same exact path. So, just clicking the copy from design to runtime uh, will take care of that for you. So once we click on a PLC here, we would click apply, copy from design to runtime, and then OK. And we would be up and running. From here, uh, just your normal create your MER file and download to the panel view. Just from here, do a um, create runtime application, and then you would uh, use the uh, download to the transfer utility to download that to your panel view plus, and you're off and running. Once again, thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out future and current videos by subscribing to CED Mosbaugh Electric Supply on YouTube or visiting www.mosbaugh.com media. Thanks again.